Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wichita Heights Stadium for tonight's matchup between the visiting Wichita North High football team and your Wichita Heights Falcons. My name is Mr. Kelly. With me, I got Dakota Dahl. Dakota, you ready to go tonight or what? Yes, sir. It's going to be a good game. <laughs> we got uh, Derek running the camera. We got Ethan running the camera. We got Adrian running the uh, scoreboard. And we got Jacob back here kind of switching back and forth between the two, two views. So we got a full crew up there. We got uh, uh, captains are getting ready to go out. You want to name off the captains out there, Dakota, if you will? Yes. Number two. Our captains are number two, DJ Dingle. Um, number eight, Isaiah Huda. Number four. Number number four, Kale Millicent. And 
Number 10. Number 10, Nate Campbell. So there's the uh, the captain the handshake right there with the uh, North High. I, I, I've got to make sure I don't say their mascot because they don't have a mascot right now. They're in the process of probably getting a mascot right now, but uh, they dropped their mascot several years ago. So if I apologize right now if I say the wrong mascot. And um, it's just I've been, I've been a Wichita guy for a long, long time. <laughs> just say North football team. That's what I got to do. We got to <laughs> call it the North High football team. That's what we got. And uh, we're seeing who's going to win the toss here. We got a nice breeze coming from the south to the north. I don't know, probably 10 or 15 miles an hour here. Uh, that would be on your screen. That would be right to left from the south to the north. And you kind of see the captains out there. Hey, what do you think of the red pants? I'm, I'm digging them. I like, <laughs> the, I like the new look. It's the first time I've been here since 1997. We have never had red pants. Really? We've, had, we've had black pants. We've had white pants. We've had silver pants. But we've never had red pants since 1997. I don't believe they've ever had red pants here at Heights High School, but I could be wrong. Maybe they just pulled them out of the vault for today's game. Uh, hey, those are brand spanking new. They got <laughs> them this week. Uh, I think what the captains have decided is every week they've got – now they've got red pants. They can, they can also uh, – they've got all these different changing um, – uniforms that they can get a different uniform for almost every week uh, of the season so uh, that's kind of neat looks like did we win the toss or we elected to receive I was talking about the uniforms and wasn't even paying attention I will see when we get the kickoff but uh, Heights comes into this game at 0-2 North comes into this game as 0-2 you want to talk a little bit about what the uh, how the Falcons did in their first two games Dakota yeah the Falcons lost a close one to Garden City after a pretty long weather delay 11 o'clock, by oh, the way. Yeah I, yeah, I went to that game, and they we started the second half a, a little after 11 p.m. I got home at 4.30 in the morning. Oh, man. And then they lost a blowout to uh, Wichita Northwest. But in the, as the City League stands right now, Bishop Carroll is the only one left undefeated, 2-0. and Capon's 1-1. One and one. Wichita West is 1-1. One and one. Northwest is 1-1. One and, one, and Southeast is 1-1. One and, one. and East is also 1-1 one one as well. They... Uh, North High is also 0 and 2. They've lost to Gar uh, Southeast 24 to 7, and then lost last week out in Garden City, or actually here here at Heights. North played here last week at a Heights Stadium, uh, 77 to 6. And so we're ready for kicking off. We're going to receive, yeah. and I'm go. trying trying to see who. Go ahead. Number 12, Lafayette, Washington, to receive the kick for Heights, and number 85 for. North High is Ethan Braden, a six foot, 155 pound junior. We will do our best with uh, stats as best we can. Um, leading rusher, I got a couple. Uh, we'll just kind of keep that stuff here for uh, when I got a few things from Mitch Kuchera. Mitch Kuchera is their head coach, first year head coach for the uh, for North High. Uh, last year, if anybody was uh, listening to us last year, actually uh, Mitch Kuchera, the head coach at North, was in the booth with us. He was calling the game with me uh, pretty much on every game last year. And now he's on the opposing sideline. And line. now he's – yeah, he was always been at North High. He's been at North High for a long time. But uh, he's the head coach over there, and uh, I'm going to miss him in the booth. But, Dakota, I think it's going to be a good game. I think so, too. It'll be a good one. Great football weather. Good kick, <laughs> yeah. touchback. Great kick out of bounds. Uh, that Laf one caught a little wind. Yeah, that's the wind right there uh, that went over Lafayette Washington's head. And here comes the Falcons – on offense, you want to go over some starters if you want to. Yeah, and we've got qu at quarterback DJ Dingle, and at running back today we did not see number five, the all-star John Randall, but we'll have Cartez looks, and Kale Millis. Looks like yeah, out. looks like Kale Millison's back there right now. Um, yeah, we did not see number five, John Randall. Uh, one of their star players is not on the sideline today, so I'm not sure what happened there. So we'll just leave it at that, and we'll just move on and watch yeah. it. Watch a good game between the Falcons. And North High, a lot of red out there, man, with those red pants. Both, team, both, red. both teams have red pants here. Looks like North High is kind of in a 4-2 look, 4-4 look. Kale Millison up the middle, <laughs> breaking some tackles. Good run up to, looks like the 34. So about a gain about 12. Yeah. So a good way to start it off for the Falcons there. Yeah, just shotgun right there. You'll see the shotgun, uh, the shotgun the whole time here for the uh, for the Falcons. DJ uh, Dingle, uh, senior, he coaches son. Kel Millison also coaches son. Kel, Kel Millison is the uh, uh, son of our offensive coordinator. Um, 
Corby Millison, he's in the uh, box to the to the right of us calling plays. And looks like Millicent's going to get another run there for about two yards. Tackle by, two yards. tackle by number five, uh, Orlando Watley. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Cale Millicent is a strong kid. He's built like a Mack truck. He looks like that typical fullback, running back, linebacker. You'll oh, yeah. also see him on the uh, defensive side of the ball. Yeah, this Heights team is full of a bunch of really good athletes. Brings up about second and ten here. North High staying in their 4-2 look. They got too high. They, they run this. Millicent again. Oh, oh no. no, reverse to deep. It was, Get. yeah, they just kind of read that one. DJ's reading the back end over here, which I believe was number 65 right there. He's reading the end, Joshua Buffunye. And they, they read it to see if they're going to stretch it to Kale Millicent on the left going that way. Otherwise, they keep it. Here it is again. Yeah, he got the linebacker in the end to bite yep. on the fake. And he took it for about three yards brings up about third and four here looks like north might come here with a blitz they motion i don't even have a 14 on my roster you do oh yeah, that's right i'm looking at the wrong dang roster <laughs> my fault that was kamar anderson going on to the other side so now they're in trips they got uh they're gonna have a delay of game there oh. it is it looked like coach dingle was signaling for a timeout but he wasn't given was he? Given that, yeah. Or are they going to call timeout here? Looks like they got, maybe they got the timeout. Oh, maybe they did. Maybe he got it just in time. Yep, got it just in time. So the white hat, um, white hat picks up the flag and he's going to call timeout. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back here. So they got the timeout called, so they, it's gonna bring up third and five. Go for another handoff to Millicent. Cuts it up to about the 53 yard line. Gain of about 12 yards again for Kel Millicent. They're just pounding the rock right now. Yeah, I think the they, had a, they had a backside guard pull. Let's take a look here. We kind of have a, we have our, our, another laptop that's kind of a delay in here, so it's about a 50. 15, 20 second delay. So they did a counter. They actually pulled two guys, backside guard and tackle on that last play and kicked out and wrapped around the guard and got a 15 or a 12 yard game for Kale Millison. And they give another give to Kale Millison. Cuts up to about the 41 yard line. Um, give him about nine on that one. He's getting every, every, we're gonna have to do some math at the end of this yeah, quarter. Yeah, I'll have to pull out my calculator. <laughs> Brings up about second and one here. Uh, it's interesting. I think North High is not going to let, uh, they're giving everything to, to the, uh, not going to let DJ pull it. They're, uh, they're coming down and making sure that they don't give him that read. And so they're just going to let Kale Millicent. The I thought they might have, uh, yeah, Kamar. false start. I think we had a, a motion guy go out there. Yeah, let's see what, let's see what happened here. <laughs> I believe it was number nine on the top right here. He leaves a little bit early. Maybe even Kel Millicent leaves a little bit early too. Yep. So it was number nine. Who's number nine there for us? Number nine is Tavion Johnson. Tavion and Millicent kind of had a little bit of, started a little bit too early. We bring up about second and six. Second and six here. North High has still stayed here in their 4-2, maybe mixing up the front just a little bit. There's a good DJ, read right there. DJ by Dingle keeps it and cuts it up for about a 15, I'm gonna say, yeah, 15 yard I'd game. say 15. Could be 16 there. We're just doing our best <laughs> estimate here. He finally got him to bite on. Yeah. The end came down. He's reading the backside end right here. There he is, reads. The backside end comes yep. down. DJ pulls it back around. A good, good decision there by DJ. We haven't had a pass yet besides the uh, false start they threw it out there, but everything else has been a run here. Kel Millicent still in the backfield. Oh. 
DJ pulls it. DJ pulls and loses a few yards on the play. Good play right there by number 15, Jaden Garns, and by number eight, Michael Bailey Jr. Uh, they made a good job. They did a good job there on defense by not sucking in on that uh, uh, fake to the fullback, and they stick with Dingle for five a five-yard loss. Yeah, for play. A, yeah, five-yard loss for for DJ. So his first carry is a minus. Oh, did you already do the math on that? Yeah, he had a <laughs> three-yard runner. He had a. Did he have a three-yard three yeah, runner? Yeah, he had a three-yard runner earlier, and then. I would minus three or my, uh, minus seven and then plus three, so you know he had two attempts. They complete a pass to Kamar and gets about a four yard gain. I believe number 11 makes that tackle on the far side over there. DJ Fowler, six foot, 185 pound junior. Brings up third and long for the Falcons here. They go with the run to Millicent, and he goes up the middle for what looks to be a first down. Gain of 11 and a first down, very good. Millicent's coming out, he's tapping his helmet, says he needs a break, he looks a little tired. He's not Almost. used to running every play. Now, and he looks a little like he's limping just a little bit. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah. Uh, against Northwest last week at the very end of the game, he came out with a, a kind of a banged up knee. Um, hopefully that's not the case here. And he hopefully seems he gets to be back. rubbing that, rubbing his left knee on the bench there. So we've got number 12 in Lafayette, Washington in a backfield with uh, DJ. And DJ pulls it, cuts up the middle of the field. Oh, loses the football, but we have a touchdown for the Falcons. Gain of uh, 16 yards, 16 yard run, touchdown. So first touchdown of the season here at home for the Falcons. It's a DJ Dingle keeper. He read the uh, backside end again with Lafayette Washington, decided to keep it. And looks like the Falcons are going for two. Been a long time since we've seen, uh, well, I mean, this season, uh, they have gone for two a lot of the time. Um, missing our, our kicker that we've had for, we had four-year kick, four year started kicker last year, the last four years, Caden Clausen. And kick, did he have a boot, too? And he, he's at Butler kicking for uh, Butler uh, Community. So toss to Lafayette. And going to be a flag on the play. Tackle right there by number 20. Jacob Blankenship for the uh, for North High. Looks like they're, the flag's gonna be on the Falcons, so they'll accept the penalty and they're not gonna let them redo it. So a, a six nothing lead here in the first quarter with 7.08 remaining here in the first quarter. We'll be right back. Here we go, kicking off for the Falcons, number 55. Carry on Harrison Jones with the kick. Almost like a pooch kick. Big number 81 with the return. Mateo Clark, six foot, 200 pound DN, gets the uh, about a five yard return. And here comes North High, first time that they've been on, been on offense.
So leading uh, rusher here for the uh, for North High is their uh, quarterback Jacob Wassel, uh, number one, or is Jacob Wassel number one or number eleven? Uh, he's number one. And they're going a quick pass. They just had no, they had a defender over there about 10 yards back trying to make the throw out there to Jacob Wassel. Jacob Wassel's number one, the receiver out there, who's also their leading rusher. Um, their quarterback there, number 11, was is DJ Fowler that tried to get it out there. An incomplete pass brings up second and 10. High tie has played a kind of an odd stack looking uh, defense. What they mean by odd stack, they'll have three down linemen and five linebackers. Um, and they move those linebackers all around. You, sometimes you'll even see, just like this right here, nobody is on the ground. Nobody with their hands on the ground, and they're just going to go up oh, there, the ball is loose. fumble the snap, be a loss of one. Covering up the ball right there was number 22, uh, No Way Alvarado. But that's what's kind of confusing sometimes for offenses. I mean, <laughs> there's nobody with their hand on the ground on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, they have no idea who's coming, who's dropping back right. into coverage. Makes it a lot harder to call plays as an offense. That's the uh, beauty of this odd stack. They've got so many guys that kind of linebackers, kind of safety guys. They just don't have a lot of guys on, on the defensive side of the ball that are really de defensive linemen besides their nose tackle. Um, but now they've got three guys down on the ground, and then they've got, they're bringing three. Here's another little quick little hitch to the outside, trying to get it to Jacob Wassel again. And they're bring up fourth and 11. Nice way to start the game for the Heights defense. Well, they, they didn't have to do much there. They didn't there. have to do much, <laughs> but they get a three and out to start. Yeah. So a three and out, they're going to punt, going back to punt number 85. And to return the punt. Ethan Braden. And to return number four, Kale Millison. Can't believe they're putting Kale back there. I know, he's going to get a lot of touches everywhere today. Almost getting there with the block. With the block, Kel Millicent's going to pick, pick it up. up and run with it. Good move. He takes off. Gets knocked out of bounds at about the 50. Oh, we got a flag down. Flag back at about the 32-yard line. Uh, back judge there. Not sure what he's going to call. Probably most likely a hold. Or a block, block in, the in the back. back. You think so? Block in the back on number 13. Yes. Let's see what the call here is. So I think they did call the block in the back back there. So they'll go 10 yards from the spot of that foul back there at the 32 yard line. So they're gonna be back all the way to about the, about the 22 yard line. So t take that, uh, that positive run by Kel Millison and man, it's like a, 30-yard uh, penalty here. Are they going to go five? No, they're going 10. That's Yep, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Back to about the 22, 23-yard line is where the Falcons will start. Yeah, but I have no doubt Millicent will be able to make up that penalty. Heights got trips down here to the uh, uh, boundary. Close boundary, closest to the uh, sideline here to Heights, the, the short side of the field. And they actually, they've got their, I don't know if they have a linebacker. Oh, that's why. They're going to go jet, jet motion, motion right there oh, with the reverse. A reverse to Kamar Anderson. He cuts it upfield for a good gain. Gets taken down at about the 51-yard line. About a 25, 26-yard gain. So I was just noticing that the top receiver was not on the line of scrimmage, which means that he can go in motion, which also means that they have a tackle eligible. Uh, and then they ran the reverse. That's how they did it. They really had North North's defense fooled on that one. Good reverse play there. I mean, it's a great job of, of uh, Corby Millison, the, the uh, offensive coordinator, calling the reverse play on first down right there. 
and uh, really not expecting things like that on first down. Another give to Millicent, and he gets about a three-yard gain on that one. Coming off the bottom of the pile. Big number 80 down there, Mateo Clark, six foot, 200 pound defensive end. He's at the bottom of that one with that, uh, with that good stop. Brings up about second and eight for the Falcons. DJ Dinger, Kel Millison there in the backfield. Go with the shotgun again, another give to Kale Millison for another six yard gain on the play. Looks like gonna be about third and about one. Third and two. Got the chain gang over there, some Heights teachers, Mr. Scott Arpin in his final year of teaching here at Heights High School, been here for, I don't know, 30, 35 years, something like that. He's retiring this year, he's over there in the chain gang. Mr. Jeff Topping over there on the chain gang and Mr. John Close running the chains over there for Heights. DJ rolls out, passes it to Kamar. Oh, incompletion. A little bit of a RPO, you know what RPO means? Yes, run pass option. There you go, run pass option, good, Dakota. No, a little bit of uh, offensive here. Run pass option. So DJ is reading the defensive end. He can give it to the fullback. He can pull it. If he doesn't like, if he doesn't want to run it, he can also pass it out there to the flat and the receiver, and he misses it on the uh, on the catch. Who was 14? Uh, 14's Kamar Anderson. Kamar. Kamar. Is it Alexander? Alexander. My there you bad. Go. My there apologies. <laughs> Brings up fourth and two. Bet you they pull a guard here. They're just going to go straight ISO. Oh, they're going to keep DJ it. DJ keeps it for I think he's got it. a first down. Yeah, he's got the first down. Falls, gets a gain of about two there, about two and a half on that fourth and two. Just enough to get the first down. Are they going to measure? Seemed like from up here he got it for at least a yard. I think he's got the. I think he's got it. Whether the, sometimes you know the the white hat can allow the official to allow them to measure it, and we'll keep. That's a good shot right there on, that you guys see of the close up of the uh, Derek. See if you can't get a really close shot of the uh, the chain down there on the ball. See how how far away we are. Let's see. See, we got it by a ball length. Yep, just ball length. Good shot right there by Derek Turner, one of our cameramen in here. Ethan Warden doing a good job as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll be interested to see if the Heights offense tries to get a pass game going or they continue to pound the rock. Pound the rock with Kale, Kale Millicent and DJ Dingle. Oh, and there it is, a pass out to Kamar Alexander. He gets about a three-yard gain. Heights coming out and trips left. North High has, I haven't really seen them change any of their defense. Ah, maybe here a little bit. They've got almost a 5-2 front here. Now they've got, uh, it's still kind of a 4-4 four, four look. to number 12. Lafayette, Mr. Lafayette Washington for it's a gain. It's about a five-yard gain. Two-yard. And a flag. I'm not sure what the flag was. It looks like the um, the referee, the sideline guy over there is pointing to North High. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. So that's a 15 yard penalty. Oh man. Not sure who they called that one on. It's 
So Millicent's gonna go back in the game. And it's gonna be second and about 20, maybe 21 yards. Still got 3.11 left to go here in the first quarter. The Falcon offense has stayed in the shotgun this whole game. Yeah, they'll continue. DJ to rolls that. out for the pass. He just kind of nice throws it out of bounds. Nice job of right there throwing it away. Almost hits the uh, cheerleader in the back. <laughs> I've seen some of those. Sometimes those make some uh, you know viral go videos go viral if anybody's recording it. Well, oh, I mean yeah. we're we're recording it, so I guess if uh, yeah, we ought to make a few bucks <laughs> off of viral. <laughs> Heights is gonna punt. Oh, it looked like North sent a blitzer on that last play. So back to punt for the Falcons. Number 55. Yep. Carry on Harris Jones. He seems to be doing all the kicking today. Yeah, he's kicked off and punted here for the first time. Is Lafayette going to get on the line of scrimmage down there? He was almost moving. Not much of a kick into a slight breeze. Hopefully the ball bounces a little bit, and it doesn't, so it's going to come back. Downed by number eight, Isaiah Yehuda for the Falcons. And North High gets the ball starting here at about the 33 yard line. About three minutes to go remaining here in the first quarter. Still six nothing. I haven't wrote down any stats for, for North because they've all been fumbles or incomplete passes. So. Well, have they, have they gained any yardage No, yet? I don't think they have. Actually, I don't think they have. They've, uh, had two incomplete passes and a fumble, which lost one yard. They're just going to go quarterback sneak here. And they're actually get some get some yardage there. Eight yards on a quarterback sneak by there. Is that uh, number 11, their quarterback? So, yeah, we're going to give him nine yards. This could be second and one here for him. Their leading rusher is actually their receiver, Jacob Wassel. Leading receiver is Ethan Braden. And then leading tackler and leading scorer, Jacob Wassel. So that's their guy out here on the edge. They just got to try to get it to him if at all possible. Oh, and they missed. Backs. I think they maybe missed the yeah. handoff, possibly. Yeah. Some miscommunication down there. So the quarterback there, DJ Fowler, just kind of goes back and tries to hand it off on a straight ISO play right up the middle. Yeah, and on that play, Heights sent a blitzer. I don't know if the I don't know if the running back, number twenty-seven, DeAnthony Jones. Brings up about third and five. Heights bringing some blitzers. Hand it off. What a stop. at the line of scrimmage. Who is that there? Tackled by number 34. Number 34, Jamison Holland. There you go, Jamison. Jamison, also a baseball player. Yeah, came out last year and is looking to have a good year this year, too. And North had a second and nine, and they've lost yardage on the last couple of plays, and now they've all the way back to fourth and six, and they sent in the punting unit. Kel Millicent back to receive the punt. Good kick there. Oh, great kick. Hopefully it goes in the end zone oh, for a touchback. There you go. Smart smart job there by Millicent getting the fake fair catch there. Yeah, he knew it was over his head with that strong wind right there. It really just helped, helped uh, carry that ball into the uh, end zone for a touchback. And with about 27 seconds remaining here in the first quarter, Heights still up 6-0. Had uh, a long drive, and then they had to punt the last series. This is their third series. Kel Millicent has really been leading the way with uh, with uh, the touches today. He's got about 70 <clears throat> yards so far. As well as uh, DJ. DJ is also the other leading rusher for those two. Missing their star running back, John Randall, not playing tonight. Back in the shotgun, starting the 20-yard line, first and 10 for the Falcons. Gives it to Millicent again for five-yard gain.
Tackle by number 65 right there, Joshua Bufunye. 5'9", 225-pound D lineman, sophomore there in the front for a tackle of about, or a gain of about five. This is, I'm surprised they're going to run a play. That is, that's going to be it, and that is the end of the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, height six, Wichita North zero. We'll be right back. All right, we're back here, second and five here as we start the second quarter for the Falcons. Falcons now heading towards the north with the wind behind I'd be them now. i see if they get in the pass game here, see if they can get some deep balls going. Oh, DJ breaks a tackle. Oh, they're not going to call it? Yeah, uh, they're going to yeah. call a hold right there. Man. Who they call that hold on? Did you see it, Dakota? I didn't it, see it. It was, it on, it was on the receiver, wasn't it? Right here on the edge as uh, DJ kind of came around. I think it might have been on number 18. We're going to call number 18 out. Who's 18? Number 18, Slate Herman on the hold. It was Slate. Going to bring up, what, about second and 12? Are we third down? Are we third down? So third and about 12 yards. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for a a pass here with the wind at DJ's back. Yeah, See they, if they can get something over the top of the cor cornerback's heads. I think it's – I thought it's second down. There you go. It is second down. It is second and 12. They had uh, Mr. John Close over there, welding teacher, special error. He had the wrong down on the marker. So DJ yep, – pick it up to pass. DJ goes over the middle – and dropped by Kamar Alexander. So they ran now two. Now it's third down. There you go. Now it's third and 12. And the clock stops. So third and 12. Yeah, they ran. They had trips over there to the top side, and they ran two guys vertical, and they ran one guy underneath, kind of a, a, a dig route right there, and tried to get a Kamar. DJ just never could get his feet settled as he was continued to kind of fade back with the pressure that North was uh, bringing up the middle. Good job there by the uh, the defensive line of North, putting pressure on the quarterback. So it looks like uh, we'll see if Heights. I bet you they kind of roll out to the field up top, maybe. They're just going to straight drop back. Pass. Screened. Screen. Ah. Uh, uh, it bit was going to be there. Just overthrew. DJ felt some pressure on that one. North high defense got to him pretty quick. Yeah. Got to hold that. You got to hold that screen up a little bit longer by the offensive lineman. They just didn't uh, hold it long enough. And DJ just couldn't float that ball over the top of him. And now we're going to get a punt with the wind. See if uh, see if he can get this one a long ways. Kicking the ball 55. from the 18-yard line. Back deep. I think that's Jacob Wassel, number one for North. Good punt there. Roll that's going to favor the Falcons. Yeah, if the wind's strong enough, man, that might just keep going. You see the guys kind of just try, trying to wave it down. That was uh, Lafayette, Washington, number 12, trying to wave that down. Down to about the 28-yard line, it seems, 29. 
Let's see where they put this ball at. I'm going to say 28 by where that official standing. Still close game, man. Anything can go here. It's still early in this ball game. Um, both teams are 0-2. Both teams are looking to get their first win of the game, first win of the season. And uh, North is hanging in there. North hasn't done a lot on offense. Heights has done a lot on offense, but they just haven't uh, been able to score and pick up the plays when they needed to to keep drives going. Yeah, that last drive in the first quarter seemed like they were going to score, but that yeah. unsportsmanlike conduct really hurt them on that one. And here's North, and they and North does a good job right there. They kind of have all their offensive linemen go up there and put their hands on their knees, and at the last second they put their hand on the ground, and then that kind of made Heights jump right there. It seemed like number eight, Isaiah Huda, number 10, Nate Campbell, both jumped the line of scrimmage there. It looked like they were sending a blitz. Both captains. They, they got to do better. Those captains got to do better. They got to make sure Isaiah was a little upset with himself as he jumped offside, number eight there. They're both talking to themselves now and like, man, hey, we, we got it. We're better than that. They are. Brings up first and five for about the 34. North High in the old I formation. I bet they go with the run here. They're just going to pull a guard, backside power. Nice tackle. Try to get a couple of number, yards. Good tackle there by number 20, Caleb Roper. 27 with the gain. DeAnthony Jones for two. Second and about three here for North High. Still playing. They got uh, tied in down here to the right. They're going to run a little, a little bit of midline, maybe. Give. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Just a straight, simple dive right there for the fullback. Another tackle by number 20, Caleb Roper. He's really flying around off the end there on the defensive line. Did you see what number that was for North that ran that ball? Actually, I can look right here. It's 20. 22, it seems. Maybe. Yeah, I've got a. Here's a good look at it right here. 22. 22. Yep. Which is uh, Noe Alvarado. So Noe gets one yard on that one. We'll give him one yard. Might not have gotten a yard. He's got. They got five seconds to get this playoff before it's a delay of game. And they're going to go quarterback sneak. And that's stopped again. Looked like number 99 and then number 20. Caleb Roper, number 99. Quantavius Galloway on the stop there. Big, big D lineman up front for the Falcons. Are they going to go for it here on fourth? Looks like uh, looks like North's going to, they're, they're kind of changing everybody out. They're going to punt it. Back to punt number 85, Ethan Braden. Got Kale Millison back to return the punt. He needs to scoot up. He's too far back. That guy yeah, that wind that. is going to knock that thing down. Yeah. Scoot up to about the 35, Kale. We'll see, we'll see where the ball bounces. It might even be shorter than that. Oh, oh man. See, way <laughs> yeah, short. The wind really killed that. Hey, someone get on that thing. Takes a heights bounce, too. And that was a gain, a net gain of a three yard punt right there. You don't see that very often. No, no, that's a shank right there. Shank into the bunker, over the pond, and into the bunker right there on that, uh, on that punt right there. Just a miss, miss hit on the, on the uh, punting. Gives Heights a great advantage here. Heights really needs to get a get a score here before the half. Yeah, that would be a good way to come out with a with a little bit of a bigger lead. Because they're gonna did we get the ball at kickoff? We did, so that means North High is gonna get it at the second half. We got so, so we need to get some points on the board here. Looks like they got Lafayette Washington back there as the uh, tailback behind Dingle. Millicent's kind of the fullback slot guy. Give to Lafayette Washington for about a two yard gain. Yep. Tackle by number eight, Michael Bailey Jr. With a nice tackle right there. Brings up about second and nine for the Falcons. Offensive uh, coordinator down there, Malik Jaredat. Calling the plays. Well, actually it's Corbin Millicent calling plays. Mal Malik Jaredat is kind of delivering the message onto the field. This 
Lafayette, Washington stays in the backfield. Kale Milson actually lines up in the slot. Pass to 81. For gain. a five-yard gain, pass to 81 to Jeremiah Yehuda yep. for a five-yard gain. Good job right there by uh, um, Dingle setting his feet. Has a good, strong arm out there. And Yehuda does a great job of catching it and getting what he can. And the corner does a great job. Number six over there, Logan Braden. Comes up and makes a nice tackle for no uh, really no extra yardage. That might have been Jacob Wassel, actually, number one. Number one, Jacob Wassel. Brings up about third and four here for the Falcons. He seems to be doing it all, number one for yeah. North High. They got nice tight trips down here. Maybe a toss this way. Oh, just a bad Op bad snap. Looks like they were going for an option, but a bad yeah. snap and a Blow the big whistle. loss on the play. I think that might have been a little late. There it is right there. There's a flag right there. Yeah, on Sportsmanlike. Referee Seemed didn't like, like what he saw. Number Someone's 81. Gonna, is it going to be on us or them? Uh, I think it's on us because I saw number 81 and number 60 for the Falcons going after it. After oh, the play. It could yep. be. Oh, a shove by number 12. 12, 12 yeah. Washington. It might be on both, actually. We'll see what happens here. We could use that extra 15 yards. I think it's going to be against us, actually. We'll see. Yep, on sports black they, conduct on the offense. They didn't say a number, but I, it was number 12 just for can't, us. So just yeah, can't do that. No, nah, he was on the ground. I mean, yeah, they made a great play. Really, I don't know if it was a great play on defense, uh, more of a mistake on offense. It was a bad snap. DJ couldn't get the ball, and then here comes North defense that got around and got on us, and we couldn't do anything about it, and that's going to bring up – are we back up to third down or fourth down? Seems to be fourth down of what I see on the field there. Wait, why are they going first down? What? Uh-oh. Fourth down. Chain guys have messed stuff up here for a second. They're not even sure where they were at. Such a they big started loss. to move it. They started to move it back the other way. A little confusion <laughs> on, the, on the for the chains and the heights. Well, offense. the the official has got to make sure he does. He communicates with those guys on the sideline over there and make sure they get it right. Yeah. Uh, and when to move and when not to move. Really, as a chain guy, you should never move unless you are told by the official to move. So it's going to bring fourth and Park City. <laughs> Park City's to the north. That's why I said Park City for those of you guys that are not, not from this area here. Park City is just the town just to the north of us here. Fourth, fourth and a long ways. And now, now the chain guy's got first down over there. Oh, man. Back to punt number 55. He lets it go. Catches a little bit of wind there. Good punt. Needs to get a good takes roll. Another, takes a, about a yard roll there. Down by number 25, Dennis Carter. Let's see if the Falcons can get, get a Man, get we stop need a, and score. Yeah, just under seven minutes to go here in the, in the first half and uh, need, to, uh, need to have a turnover. We just can't get anything going on offense. We've, we've done everything. Defense have done pretty much everything they wanted to, really. Uh, haven't had any turnovers, but North High just hasn't had done much on offense either. Yeah. Well, and the Heights offense just keeps making some costly mistakes, whether it's after the play or yep. Penalties. bad snaps or yep. just some miscommunication. Hopefully we can get something going here. Going to have a quick incomplete. pass to the outside, incomplete pass. They've tried that several times. Just the quarterback there, DJ Fowler, whether he can't get a hold of the ball or maybe he, he's really just taking one step back and trying to get it out there. And the problem is, is those offensive linemen have got to fire off and give him some room. And they're just really standing up and not really giving them much, much uh, uh, to do with. So they've got to fire off and go attack those guys so he has a little bit more room back there so he can make that throw. Maybe a three-step drop possibly. Yeah. They go back to the I formation, which – as of they, I think they've been pretty much I formation the whole time, haven't they? Yeah, I'm not. Quarterback sneak. sneak. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. 
Another uh, one yard there run by quarterback DJ Fowler with the quarterback sneak. He might have got one. Our D-line's doing a good job of picking up that sneak, stopping him right at the line of scrimmage. Man, we got those blitzing linebackers too, Millicent and, and Yehuda. Campbell's Campbell, in there as yeah. well. Is Millicent out there right now? Millicent is not. Not out there right now. He's, I mean, really, the, he, he's been pretty much, he's on the sideline back over here about the 50 or so, so he's uh, pretty much been on offense. Most of the time he is their starting linebacker, but because of today and, and not having uh, uh, one of their running backs, Millicent has been, been really kind of carrying the load. Ball was tipped. Jacob Wassel big, catches it. Big hit there by 25, Dennis Carter up the middle. And Wassel is down. He is doesn't look like he's going to get up there. He he is hurt. I don't want to see that. One That's of their, not good. He got their, popped pretty good there yeah, up the middle. He got sandwiched here because he, he caught that ball and he was going back and didn't see anybody from the inside. That was a 25. Who's 25? Is that the is that Dennis, a, Dennis Carter. That was a heck of a hit there by Dennis yeah, Carter. Big blow. Probably just knocked the wind out yeah, of Yeah, knocked the wind out. He seems to be hurting pretty bad. So he's up. Uh, it's good to see that, though. Yeah, there's. They got the coach out there. Uh, Mitch Cachera was out there and their trainer and escorting him back to the sideline. Hopefully he's going to be okay and be allowed to come back into this game. Yeah, not a good sign for North High as he's their leader in pretty much every offensive category there is. Yeah, we had a leading scorer, leading tackler, even though that's a defensive thing, oh, and leading, leading rusher as well at a receiver spot. So they probably have maybe some, run some reverses with them or something like that, and they're going to go for it here on fourth down. I bet you anything they're going to try to get him to jump. That's what I would do. Oh. Oh, they time called out. timeout Coach just Dingle in time. Coach Dingle is on the field running around trying to get that timeout there. Yeah, I think he just saw he, – he didn't know that they were going to go for it, and I don't know if they had a defense called there. So, DJ – or excuse me, DJ. Mr. Dingle. DJ's dad. Yeah, <laughs> Dominic Dingle, head coach, uh, calls timeout there. And we got uh, 5.36 to go here in the first quarter. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. Oh, so they, had, they are going for it. They're going to go for it here unless they're going to do a quick kick number here. Number six was back like he was going to receive a punt. Tipped and oh. incomplete. They had it. Tried to get the kid, the uh, pass there to number two, Jamarion Edwards. Um, had a good good ball even looked, but uh, just couldn't uh, make the catch. He was in, he w looked like he had two uh, oh, he had, defenders he, he on had him. He had several guys on him. I just thought maybe they might have called, got the uh, the play, but uh, just missed it there. Who's on the number six and number seven? Who's six and seven for us? That's who was on defense. Six and seven. We've got Avante Scales and Jaden Okoro. Okoro. Okoro's in my first hour class. So <laughs> he would be in this box live stream with us if he wasn't down there on the field. So. So we're back at the 30-yard uh, line, first and 10 there for the Hand Falcons. Off to Millicent, cuts up field, good run, 10, 5. Oh, knocked out. Knocked just out, it looks to be the one-yard line. Great run by Kill Millicent there for about a 29-yard gain. Ah, take it back. Oh, Got no. Got a penalty back on about the 25-yard line. It's going to be on the Falcons. Get all excited, and they just – costly penalties I never saw it I didn't see when the official threw it but go back uh, 10 yards from the spot of the foul be first and 15 wow see man some. what a again like you said 
Dakota. It's just been mental mistakes that has cost the Falcons, and that's why it's still 6-0 here. And now North High is going to call, I think they just called a, call a timeout. So we'll take a break here with 5.20 to go here in the first half. Height 6, North 0. All right, what are we doing? Are we switching up camera guys and switch. Okay, all right. Derek's tired of standing there, so uh, now we got Jake. Jacob is, thinks he's going to be a camera guy. We'll see what Shot, he can do here. Shotgun here for Dingle. Play action there, rolling out. See if he can get away. He's oh good. man, he better just throw this away. Throws it downfield, out of bounds. No flags on the play. I, most of the time when something like that happens, run around all over the field, whew, you get flags. The pass was caught by number nine, Tavion Johnson. Unfortunately, he was out of bounds. He's 20 yards behind the line of scrimmage, 25 yards behind the line of scrimmage. I don't know whether to say a good job of Im improvisation by Dingle or just some hey, luck at there. At least we didn't get a, a, a big 25-yard loss. Yeah. And he threw the ball away, and now we're back to about uh, Oh, no, seven. there is a flag down. <laughs> Did I miss it? I don't know. Let's let's see here on our replay. There is a flag down on the other side. It looks like it's going to be on North High. Hey, hey. that that helps. We that have, might have been a pass interference to see. Yeah, that looks to be a hold. pass interference or a hold looking where our chains are moving here. It's about a 10-yard penalty, so it's probably just a defensive holding on one of those receivers, and that's going to – Uh, that's Mr. Jeffcoat. I don't know if you guys could hear him. He's the uh, PA. Falcon first down. And the Falcons at first and 20. For, excuse me, first and 10 on the 20. Trips Maybe here to the field. A give to Kale Millison. He goes around the edge. Mm. It's taken down at about the eight yard line. Nice stiff arm there. Good tackle there by number 18 no. for the uh, for North High, Martin Gutierrez. 12-yard gain for Millicent. And first and goal. You know, I remember going to K-State games and they'd have the Wildcat oh, yeah. sound after the first down, so maybe we should get a Falcon we after need a Falcon first screech. down. Ka -ka. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's not what a Falcon sounds like. We do have a Falcon. It's like a... I don't know, like a roar or something. Let's hear, like, let's hear you try to reenact. No, nah, I'm not that. doing it. I'm going to find one on YouTube, and we're gonna, we'll are gonna we find it next week and play it when we get it. Another give to Millicent up the middle, and that is a Falcon touchdown. About No flags on the play either. An eight-yard gain for a Falcon touchdown. Oh. No flags on the play. No flags on the play, but our the flag was on the was on the score on the virtual scoreboard. So sorry about that, guys. The we boys finally got it. Got something there. Got something to go their way. And gonna go for two. Got trips down here to the field. Gonna give it to Millicent. Nope, DJ's gonna keep it. Walks and just in, walks the end in zone. for two. Millicent already having a really good first quarter with 124 rushing yards. You got him for 124? And a tut and a touchdown. Who had the uh no, DJ had the first touchdown. DJ had the first touchdown and Millicent had the second, both rushing. Do we have we've got the what a couple completions? Yeah, he seems to have three completions on the day, only for a total of about 12 yards. And North 
have we? Doesn't have much. Uh, their leading rusher is their quarterback number 11, DJ Fowler. He had that one uh, quarterback sneak for about nine yards. And isn't it 14 uh, nothing? Four, yes, 14 nothing. Number 55, Harrison Jones, to kick it off here. He's got the wind at his back, so let's see if we can get. He ain't kicking it in the in the end zone. Hey, you never <laughs> you never know. You know, back when I'm gonna I, say I'm gonna say the ball is gonna land at about the we're gonna say 20 yard line. All right, I'll say 19. Oh my gosh, one <laughs> yard. You know, if we had Heights got the flow, look at him back and forth, back and forth. Oh, and we were way off. 48. Oh, I think that might have been. Oh, I think we might Heights have got football. it. Heights football, that is huge. Did they call that? Yeah, they did. Heights football. He didn't mean to do that. That was a miss hit, but good for the Falcons. Good for the Falcons. Hey, he was just doing that to spite us. Or maybe maybe they did have a call, but, man, that sure looked like he was going to – nobody knew that that was going to be a short kick, and North High just could not cover the ball. And the Falcons, let's see who comes up with the recovery there. Uh – Number six, I think it was number six. Yeah, he came off the ball. It was number six. He, he got out of there early. Who's number six? Number six is Avante Scales. We got back to the shotgun. Millicent in the backfield. Dingle will take the snap. Heights needs another score here. Let's go yes. up. Let's go up 21 here in the first yeah. half. Oh, open receiver. Gonna go deep. Field. Deep ball by Dingle. Co incomplete. Oh, wow. Man. What a play. Great DJ. ball by DJ Dingle. Yeah. Excellent throw by DJ. That was intended for number 81, Jeremiah Yehuda, but just barely slipped out of the hands there. That would have been a huge. That would have been about uh, a 48. Yeah, because the ball's on the 40, 48 yard line. Well, no, I take that back. 43 yard line. So that would have been a 43 yard pass for a touchdown. Just in and out of the hands. You don't normally see Yehuda drop those. He's got some pretty good hands on him out there on receiver. Going with the same formation here. I mean, they're trying to take some shots. And if you notice, the uh, Heights has done some uh, some big, trying to go big plays on first down. Then they come they back. They give and to Millicent. He cuts up for about a 12-yard gain there. Tackled there by number eight, Michael Bailey. Millicent's doing a good job back there at running back. He's going to have 200 yards by the end of the night for sure. Oh, he for stays. Sure. You said he had 124 in the yeah, first right quarter. Yeah, right now he's got 136 rushing yards and a touchdown. There you go. Same Heights. formation for the Falcons here. Are they going to do that read? They're going to go the other way. Give to Millicent up the middle. He takes cut. Oh, and he breaks free. 15, uh, 10, 5, and he's out at about the four-yard line. And a flag. And a flag on the play. Back uh, back at about the 18. That's a, probably a spot for a holding because it was the umpire or kind of the back judge. Yep, he throws holding, it. Yeah, holding. It looks to be a holding on number. See who I it couldn't is. see the number on this replay we got going here, but it was a for sure Block in the block back. Block in the back. See that block in the back? Uh, it could have gone holding or block in the back from what I saw. Just another bad break for the Falcons. So they'll just take it all the way back to first and ten again because it was about the the, the 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 bad part about was the block in the back was ten yards down the field. There was no reason to do the block in the back when he's already ten yards down the field. Yeah. That's just mental errors, mental errors killing us. Hopefully, DJ D – Coach Dominic Dingle can give the boys a good oh, halftime speech. He will. I think he's known for those. And Millicent on the give gets about a two-yard gain, slammed to the ground by number 15 for North High. Jaden Garns, that was a great play by him. Finally came up to uh, make that tackle by Mill from Millicent. Millicent's been running it down their throat, and Garns just had enough of that and uh, threw subbing, him down. Subbing Millicent. Yeah, he, he needs a break. He's, yeah. he's, he's pretty number, tired. He's getting almost every carry. Number 12, Lafayette, Washington looks to be going to be in the backfield for the Falcons here. 
He's also pretty quick. Not as much of a bruiser as Millicent is. Yeah. Oh, he's faster than Millicent, but fast. he's just not as big and strong as yeah. Millicent. Two two different types of backs, which is good. You yeah. need to have two different types of backs there. DJ's oh, going to keep it. He keeps it. Tries to get around Wassel on North High, and he gets and stopped behind the line for about a three-yard loss. Wassel back in the game with that uh, uh, an injury earlier there when he made that catch, and he gets about a four-yard loss there for DJ Dingle. Brings up third and 12. Again, we almost were going to score, and we bring the penalty back. Now we're looking at third and 12. That's just kind of what's happened with Heights offense. It's been the story of the game, yep. just penalties I against, mean, a, against a team that – I feel like we're I feel like we're superior more to the, yeah. than, than them, but uh, they're they're hanging in there, and we're just killing ourselves by making uh, mental mistakes. Yeah, and uh, we could have had two extra scores here before the DJ to pass. Oh, overthrown! Mm -hmm. Intended for number nine, it seems. Number nine, Tavion Johnson. Tavion kind of a little gimpy. Might have caught. Might have caught his finger. Jammed it a little bit. I thought Looked maybe I thought maybe somebody might have hit him in the ribs or something like that. No, he's staying in there. Here comes Millicent. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. What do you do? Maybe a screen play? I'd say they go for a pass here. You're huh? up by up by two scores. It what do we got? Two minutes left. I think yeah, we just go for a two oh seven. Because I'm not a hundred percent that the North offense would score on us with two minutes left. Yeah. Or they're gonna run the clock down to get that two minute warning. They're gonna go. They got trips up oh. top. And timeout called by called Coach timeout. Did we have? Did we run out of time there? Play. I wasn't watching the play clock. I d I was not either. Got the play clocks on both ends of the end zones, so I could see one of them. But the other one, I really got to lean forward to see the other. We're on. We're kind of on. Uh, if you look at the field, pretty much we're right on top of the 40 yard line, in between the 40 and the 45 yard line to the north. That's where we're at. So we're not dead center at 50, and. Uh, what do you think? You having fun, Dakota, on the, the first I'm, game? I'm enjoying this. <laughs> you know, something I want to continue into college and there you go. great experience to be up here. Uh, you have to go back and listen to it, watch it, see what you think, yeah. you know, and like, oh, man, I, I, I should have done this better. You know, and, and I know we, with the first game and everything, it's kind of hard. You really don't know what to expect until you get up here and really kind of get a feel for it. And they're like, oh, yeah. So, you know, I, I did some research. I figured out, that, you know, the I went back today and looked at the, the two scores and what they were. Uh, I emailed the coach and got some information from him and talked about, you know, he talked about Jacob Wassel and their star. So those are the types of things that you kind of prepare yourself before you yeah. ever go in. And, you know, you always hear, like, on the big screen, they're having meetings and stuff the day before, all those types of things. Yeah, they know all the ins and outs, every stat from – Is that a – That seems to be number – uh, Yeah, Millicent came off. I'm not sure Millicent why came he came off. Eighty. Yep, going for a pass here. D ball, pass by DJ Dingle. I'm not sure if that was intended. Pass interference. Yeah, I think. Seemed to be number five, I would say. For North, got that pass interference call. Was that on uh, Yehuda? No, that was a pat. Might no. have been a pass interference on the. On North. Defense, I was just yeah. trying to see who he was passing it to. He was. There were. Yeah, there it was. was. A streak and a corner route going out there that kind of crossed right as he threw it. Good ball by DJ, but at least we got some positive yardage on the play. First down for Heights, though. Good sign for the Falcons here. See, yes, pass interference it seemed to be. First down out on the 20 for Heights with yep. two minutes left in the second quarter. Break, break for us. We need that uh, penalty there to uh, get the first down. And a give, a give to Millicent, and he got about five, about a five-yard gain. Yep. Just Heights really has to kind of pick it up here a little bit to try to get the score here within the minute. They're minute 45 right now as they just set the ball. They got the 40-second uh, clock reset. I would go for a, if I was calling the plays, I'd go for go for a pass here because. Go for the pass on the second down, and then try to pick it up if you don't get it. On yeah, because Millicent's been real consistent. They've got – Millicent's out there on the receiver. They're going to go backside one-on-one. Back on one and Interception by North High, tipped by Isaiah Yehuda. Right off the That's chest the, of Isaiah Yehuda, and I'm trying to see who the – what number that was that made the catch. Um, I, I want to say number five, but let's see here. 
I couldn't tell. We're kind of, it's number five. Orlando yeah, right off, Orlando Watley. Right off the chest of number 81. Yahuda. Man, DJ hit him square in the chest. and Put just, a little extra mustard on that Yeah, ball. he did put a little extra mustard on that. And, man, we were just looking at going up maybe to 21, and now we got to make sure that we uh, hold this uh, defensive stop right here and uh, don't let North come back or get a score here before the half. I, uh, North still in that I formation. Oh, they get a nice play right there, about a four-yard gain for number, number 23. Good tackle by number 10, Nate Campbell there. Actually, that was 22, no way, uh, no way Alvarado with the gain of about three yards right there. Going for, Go for a, pass. a screen to number 41. Good tackle by number 13, Ashmar Anderson on the tackle. And will they get about two yards there? Yeah, two yard gain. Is that 41 on the pass? Yes, 41. Okay. Big fella out there in the slot. Yeah. North kind of staying in that uh, shotgun They're here. They're going with tempo too. Trying to see if they can get something going here. Oh, got nice job that. And comes up with incomplete. the catch, but it's out of bounds. Yeah. Nice job right there. Uh, DJ Fowler getting it all the way over there to the uh, receiver. Uh, numbers, to, numbers. They don't have numbers on the on the sides. It's only on the front and back. 85. Yeah, number. Ethan number Braden. 13. Ashmore Anderson was on the coverage there. He saw him run across and make sure he didn't catch that ball because that would have been a huge game for the Redskins. Fourth and four. And what we got? They got someone call a timeout. Uh, it seemed to be quarterback. I'm hearing number 11, the quarterback, was banged up on that play. Well, I was worried yeah, about when see, he was. Yeah, he's limping off right here on our replay going to talk to his coach. So I think yeah. he might have called a time. North might have called that timeout well, there. Well, he was rolling out, and he was getting close to the sideline, and I saw some guys going at him. I knew he was going to get crunched. Uh, did you watch the game last night, Monday Night Football? I did. Chiefs, I watched the Chiefs majority and, of the game. And old uh, Herbert from San Diego, he got dinged up, and he still hung in there and played played pretty well. Yeah, but at the beginning of the game, I was a little concerned <laughs> with our Kansas City uh, the Chiefs. The Chiefs, yep, yep. But I was thinking back to uh, that game last night when Herbert kind of hurt his ribs, I guess. As come, come to find out today, it was a rib injury. He was running and probably could have uh, had a first down, and he just threw the ball away. And then the next play, he throws a dart, like a 30-yard dart, right down for a touchdown pass. Man, it was unbelievable. Yeah, Herbert in his second year in the NFL, he's seen, he looks like he'll be a pretty, he's pretty gonna solid be, quarterback he's, for the Chargers. Yeah, yeah he's going to be around for a while. I'm glad we got Mahomes on our side. Yeah, though. our f I, was one of, <laughs> I think his first touchdown pass, man, just did the typical Patrick Mahomes run around and sidearm it. Yep. Fourth and three here for North High, and they're going to quick kick it. Nobody back trying to fool the Falcons. No reason to. They got yep. more than, at least they got more than three yards on the punt there for the North 27 Redskins. down. To, that's DeAnthony Jones, number 27. You think the Falcons will come out and try to get another score here? Have or do you to. think they'll chew up some clock? Well, 15 seconds. I'm going like I'm taking shots right now at the end zone here. Yeah, still with the wind at our back. With Thiebel's the end, got a good good arm on him. Yep. Try to run back. Uh, they're probably going to put Wassel back there at free safety. He's he's probably one of their better players, and he's just going to be free back there. And they're going to try to see what they can do about. Uh, I would think. I'd keep an eye on this on the bottom of your screen here. We've got yep. a one on one with uh, number nine, Tavion Johnson, running up the field. Cuts, uh, DJ slings it out of bounds. And, man, we had, how did there was only just a couple seconds go off the clock? I thought that was way longer than that. Well, anyway, DJ ran around for a long time and uh, hardly any time went off the clock. We got seven seconds remaining now. There seems to be consistently, oh, uh, what number is that? Number 12, I think, for North High has been. Jack Hopping. Yeah, he's been getting back there and making Dingle roll out almost every pass play, yep. making it hard for him to make a good throw. 
Well, now they're going to go double wide here. So double wide, Millicent in the backfield, staying in that shotgun. I bet they're going to go for another shot here. Just got to make sure that you take care of DJ. Don't want to get him banged up. Yep. Let's have good pass DJ's protection. DJ's got some more time in the pocket. Deep ball. Oh, intercepted North. By, the, by number one. Are they going to give it an interception? Yep, interception by another North High star, Jacob Wasson. Wow, what a play right there for North High. DJ had a heck of a throw right he there, but the, there was double coverage, and Wassel comes up with a heck of a play in the end zone. It was kind of banged around a little bit, but he must have got his feet in there. Great job by our cameraman to get that Jacob Wassel with that play. Like you said, he's just floating over top looking for that deep ball, and he – he hawked it down. And that is the end of the half. That'll take us to the halftime. And we've got a 14-0 uh, lead here for the Falcons. We will uh, stay right here. We've got the, the uh, Pites Pommies. Uh, we will have to turn the music down because of copyright uh, rules. You'll get to see them dance, but you won't hear the music. And then we'll turn the music back up for the Heights Band. We'll be back here after halftime.
Brown. Solo looking for his Katie Becker on Alto Fox. Seth Ogden on trumpet. And Trey Stedham on trombone. Her baby is your Ben Ray. Martin Tompkins, the Ben Ray.
All right, after a strong first half, for whatever reason, our score is not updated on the live stream, so we need to get that but corrected. But it is 14 to zero. 14 to nothing in favor of the Heights home team, Heights Falcons. Uh, going over some stats here in the first half for the North High Redskins, uh, we got uh, number nine, or excuse me, number 11, DJ Fowler. I've got him with about 11 yards total rushing. Uh, number 27, he's got two rushes. Uh, DeAnthony Jones for about three yards. And number 22, uh, Noe Alvarado, he's got about seven yards on three carries. What do you got for the Falcons? Number four, Carol Millison, has probably triple the yardage of the whole North High offense with 143 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. Uh, DJ Dingle has 19 rushing yards. We've got Kamar Alexander with four. With 26 and Lafayette Washington with four. Dingle only has 12 passing yards. Let's see, uh, just a couple, one completion, two completions? I think he's got two. Two completions. And then receiving, we have number 81, Jeremiah Yehuda with five receiving yards and Kamar Alexander with eight. I forgot to put the receiving yards there for the uh, for the North High. Uh, number 11, DJ Fowler's got a, a three yard little hitch to number 41, Luis Vela. Uh, that's the only completion that they have. And again, we're not official. We're uh, doing the best we can with what we, we are, got. I'm not the strongest when it comes <laughs> to math, so. You're fine, you can add, you can add plus and minus. So, yeah, if you if you look back there, we appreciate all you guys that are watching uh, this game. Um, right now we had about 25 people actually watching. We had we've had at least 166 total views over over the whole whole game. So we appreciate all those guys uh, for, for tuning in. And um, we will not be we do have a game next week. It's on Thursday night, but we're not going to be live streaming that game because Cox 22 on TV is coming in and going to be uh, live stream or televising that game. Wow. And because they're televising, we cannot live stream at the same time. So we're going to kind of just watch, observe with our students. Uh, we're going to see them set up. We're going to, um, oh, that's a great view of Freddy the Falcon down there. I didn't see Freddy the Falcon. We got Freddy the Falcon on here. All year last year, uh, standing in the student section, everyone's trying to figure out who that is. <laughs> we're looking around to see who disappeared when he came in. Yeah. Well, we used to be Big Kaylin. Remember Big Kaylin Lowry? Yeah. Big Kaylin Lowry used to wear that suit pretty good and filled it out. He's playing football at Butler now. And uh, that guy doesn't feel, whoever that is, is not feeling it as well as Kaylin did. Tackle by number, it looked to be number 20, I think. Number 20, Caleb Roper on the tackle. And I think Lafayette Washington. Or Lafayette Washington. He, Washington he came out of there pretty excited too, so maybe, maybe he had it as well. Let's watch this replay, see who really got it. 
Uh, carry there by number seven, Adrian Butler. Nope, number 20, Caleb Roper. Had the initial hit on him. Lafayette just celebrated more than the other guy did. <laughs> hey, we like the energy. 35? 34. Oh, on the tackle? Yeah. Okay, our stat guy, Blaine Kelly here, he's uh, giving our stats for us. So we got a stat guy now helping us out. Man, we got everybody in the group. We, it's a good group tonight. It's kind of warm in here. It, just a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good out there. We got the windows open as best we can. The doors open, trying to get a flow through here. North going to stay in the shotgun Short with a little bit of pass. screen. Completion to number eight. A group of Falcons bringing that guy for down. For a four-yard gain. Good job there by North High, throwing the screen there on first and 10 and getting about four yards to come up with about second and uh, seven, second, yeah, about second second and six yards or so. Looks to be number 99, Quantavius Galloway on the tackle there. Hi, uh, North is gonna stay in the shotgun. I think they're probably gonna go for a pass here, see if they can get something going offensively. Oh, bad snap. Loss of about, what would you say, five, six yards on the uh, play? Let's see. There's five. Almost about eight yards eight there. Eight yards. Loss of eight. I'm not going to put the negative yards on them. We'll, doesn't have very many yards anyway, so we'll just, we'll take, we want to add those uh, negative yards into our stats. But if really it was a loss of about eight yards for that quarterback on his rushing stats, officially. Might need to turn down that... Uh, yeah, the crowd noise, the cheerleaders, cheerleaders are a little loud, aren't they? Yeah, I think our cheer our cheerleaders go for more of an intimidation <laughs> than they do the the cheering. They are loud. It's fun to watch though, man. They get uh we'll try to get a shot of them here when it's not football time. Right now it's football time, we'll get a shot at the cheerleaders and we got act false start. I think we got delay game. Delay game. I don't know. Fall, ah, delay delay game. game. Can we get a shot of the cheerleaders? Jacob, you got a shot of the cheerleaders down there? There's a shot of the cheerleaders. There's a good shot. Passionate group there down <laughs> and there. And we go down there, and now they're not dancing. Gosh darn it. Oh, we'll go back to football. All right, perfect. Brings up about third and 20. Third and 20. It's in the shotgun. Good snap. Pressure right Sacked away. Sacked by number eight. Number five, on the five, sack by number eight, Isaiah Yehuda. He celebrates. That was a pretty good little I celebration think they there. Sent, sent him on a, yep, they sent Isaiah Yehuda on a blitz there. Him and Dennis Carter. Right outside linebacker, flying through the gap, getting a good sack for a significant loss. Man, it's going to bring fourth and 30, fourth and 40 close, 10, 20, 25, 35 yards. Fourth and 35. They got Millicent back to receive the punt again. I'm surprised they haven't put Lafayette Washington back there to receive, give Millicent's legs a little bit of a break, but he hasn't had to do much returning. I saw I saw uh, Lafayette, he uh, returned to kickoff last week against Northwest. He's he's a quick guy. I, I would put him back there. Quick punt. Oh. And it's just going to let it go. What a bounce there. Man, great bounce there for the uh, for North High. Wow, as we they thought get, it went out, and it hit stayed right in. there. Yeah, at about the 49, 48 and a half yard line, something like that. Falcons are going to get it there, going with the win here in the third quarter. You think they're going to stay with that passing, get, try to get some more deep passes, or just keep pounding the rock? I think they're going to pound the rock here. Let's get the clock running and let's get up yeah. there and get a score, uh, another insurance. I mean, still 14 nothing. Anything can happen in 14 nothing. Yeah. They need some points here. They need some good drives. They just need a drive right here to start this second half. No mental mistakes, no penalties. We can do it. It's just we've had some kind of mental some mental issues. They're looking back over at the sideline, getting the play from Coach Jared out on the sideline. They switched the play. They got 10 seconds on the play clock. DJ Dingle, quarterback, senior quarterback, getting him in the right play. Give it to Millison. I'd give it to him almost every time. He's oh, yeah. guaranteed four or five yards. Was there a fumble? No, it looks like I just saw some uh, some, some excitement over there for a second. <laughs> Maybe they were just excited for a good tackle there. It was a good hit, but I couldn't tell what number that was that made that tackle. We'll see if we can get it here on our uh, 
free play. I didn't see a huge hit. <laughs> he might have just gotten a good tackle. <laughs> I think it was number six. I'm going to give the tackle to number six, Michael Bailey. Or correction, Logan Braden. Brings up second and five. Got two receivers out on the top of your screen. Another give to Kale Millison. Good hole on the right side. Good gain there for about 15. And a penalty. Oh, man. Flags down there at about the 30-yard line. Holding. Yep, holding. Millson would be knocking on the door at 200 yards if it weren't for all these penalties. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to bring up about second and eight here on that penalty. Luckily, that, that penalty was kind of downfield a little bit, so it doesn't push them too far back. Height still has a you know, decent field position where they could pick up the second down. If they don't get it here, they'll go third down and then uh, – they just need to try to get this a drive going and get some points here. Yeah, it would With be good about, for about eight, about eight minutes or so left to go here in the third quarter. Another give to Millison. He's going to pick up the first down. Good seven-yard game there. Seven, eight-yard game. Tackled there by number 42, Samuel Dole. I don't know. It's almost close to Dole. Yeah. D -O I mean, a lot of people – D-O-E-L-L. -E -L -L. <laughs> haven't seen You're D-O-L-L. -L. Like, yeah, just there like a Barbie doll. <laughs> that was my nickname through. Barbie, did you have blonde hair? No. Nope. Did they call you Ken? Yeah, I was <laughs> Ken. My, on my summer baseball team, I was Ken. There you go. Ken doll. Barbie doll or Ken. There you go. Trips to the top, to the uh, short side of the field there for the Falcons. Just now, Dingle DJ with pulls the it. And a loss of about three or four. Yeah, it had been a loss either way. North had a pretty good job there on defense. They're led by number 32, their linebacker. They did not bite on that option. Jaden Fountain coming in and making a pretty good play there on defense. Even if he would have given it to uh, uh, Millicent, they had that sniffed out. And they had both plays kind of stopped there either way. So whether they had they come up there and uh, – Good job on the defensive line play there for the uh, for North High. Trips down here to the left for DJ. He's he going to pull it again. this time. Oh, good run there. I think he makes up for that one with, oh, what would you say? Let's see. The ball, they started, they snapped the ball on the 40-yard line. So go from there. About 20, 22. 22. Yep. 22. I'm a little that's, slow that's, with my That's math the, uh, probably the biggest run DJ's had right there. Yeah. And what the nice thing was DJ there, instead of after he gave that fake, after he uh, did the fake, instead of kind of going sideways, he went north and south and got vertical, and that's where the seam's at. Yeah. That's what you got to look for as a quarterback of trying to get upfield. I'm sure there's some plays that are to the outside and to the inside, but that play right there was definitely yeah, to the inside and a good run there by DJ. Yeah, with DJ's speed, he can really, if he finds a seam, he can get some good yardage on that. Give to Millison. Oh, I thought he was going to get away from that tackle, but only gets about three yards on the play. North high player getting up slowly. That's the one who kind of makes the tackle right there. Number number 20, Jacob Blankenship. Oh, number 80, Mateo Clark. Got up pretty slow. He's the one that tripped up uh, Millison to bring up about second and eight here. Heights going trips to the field. Quarterback Reed straight up the middle. DJ. And touchdown, nice Falcons. Run. Great run by DJ Dingle there. 16-yard touchdown run for DJ Dingle. That's a second rushing touchdown of the day. Great run by DJ. Just turned on the burners. And just like we were talking about, find found that seam and just Oh, we already did? Okay, okay. My fault. He found that seam up the middle and just turned on the afterburners for a score there. Nobody could catch him on that one. DJ's got some good speed. Oh yeah. He's a really great athlete back at quarterback. Also plays on the basketball team. Plays he, plays he, some he, basketball. He plays basketball. He was on the state championship basketball team last year, kinda um a reserve player, but was on the team and was uh, got Millicent. a ring and trophy and everything. Oh, face mask? 
Oh, give us that. Coach Dingle was not happy with that one. That was big number 57 was Steven Ramirez. Kind of had a pancake on one of our guys, and they thought it might have been a little bit over aggressive. Co uh, Coach Millison, Kale Millison out there talking to the officials right now. I don't know if you can kind of see it there, there at about the 20 or about the 15 yard line. He was talking to the officials. So 20 zero lead for the Falcons with 524 remaining. Still got the wind here behind them on the kick. Heights is swaying on the kickoff. See if they can get a deep kick or maybe you never know where this kick's gonna little, go. Little pooch kick there. <laughs> oh, oh, got a nice seam. Loose, tackled by number 10, Nate Campbell on the play. Trying to see, that was number 18, was it number 18? I think we're going to say, we'll, we'll see here. I think it was 18 that got that, uh, almost had a seam right there. Yeah, broke a tackle, but good job by Nate Campbell. 18, Martin Gutierrez with a nice little return. Uh, probably the best um, starting position for North High on the 44-yard line. That's probably some of the best field positions. And they're going, back to the, they're going back to the eye. I thought they've somewhat had success in the shotgun. Yeah, they seem to have. Cause the, oh, but hey, there's a good oh. looking run right there. First down. First down there tackled by, look uh, to be number nine. They're going to say uh, nine. nine yards, 27 with the nice run right there. DeAnthony Jones. DeAnthony Jones with 27 yards. Correction, nine yards. Another good tackle by uh, Caleb Roper on that defensive line. Has, seems has North got a first down yet? I don't think so. I think I, they might be knocking on the door. The I think they. Time. I think they might. This might be their first first down of the game here. They had another. I remember they had a second nine earlier, and they had a couple penalties or a fumble snap or something that pushed them back. See if they can. Uh, they're going to run quarterback dive and for nothing. Stopped. He Looked finally finally fell forward, but they say that he was uh, forward progress was stopped with no gain. I think number ninety nine, Quantavius Galloway. Stop right. that. He's seems he looks to be the nose guard for the Falcon defense there. Brings up third and nine. Back North to th back to that I formation. And Heights got those three down linemen there. Bringing a blitz. blitz. Oh, oh Millison. Are they going to say offsides? Nate Campbell got a. I, I don't know, man. That was really see, close. I can see Coach Depperschmidt running right to that replay board to see if that was an actual offsides, but great jump by linebacker Nate Campbell there to shoot the gap and read that play. Seems like number 10 has been watching some film, jumping that run, but. North High has been running that eye formation all game. They go back to that. They go back to the eye here on this first first and ten. North High with their first first down of the game, and they got the Falcon defense to jump there. Some of the high, some of the Heights Falcons defense isn't very happy with that call, but they're going to call offsides on the defense for five yards. Now for a first and five with about three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. All right, sorry about that, Dakota. We had a little technical difficulty. We thought we had an error, um, and uh, but it's fixed. I don't know if we were not live for a second, but uh, we apologize if we're having a little buffering or something like that. But uh, we got it fixed. North with their first first down and driving on, on the height side of the field. See if they can keep it going, maybe get some points on the board here. And who would have thought North High back with the eye formation? I want to see him in the shotgun. I like him throwing it around. 
But they've had a they're, they're another <laughs> blitz. Oh, Ooh. who was that out there? Twenty four almost had a pick. If the ball would have th been thrown where it probably should have been, he would have taken that. He to probably the house. He, yeah, it could have been a pick six there. Who's twenty? Who, who was that? Who missed that? Or who had an opportunity to take uh, that back? Twenty four, Michael Smith. Oh, Michael Smith. He'd love to have a pick six touchdown right there. Strong safety. Yes. I had he Michael and Smith last year. Had Michael Smith in class last year, and he's a good-looking football player. Looks like a player. And number ten linebacker Nate Campbell has just been causing some chaos in the backfield on this. I could have sworn he timed that one up just perfectly. I mean, that was a great play. on that blitz. Gonna go back with the uh, ISO. Right up the gut, going to be a first down for North High. Number 27 going to pick up four. Four more yards there for DeAnthony Jones. Number 55, Harrison Jones. Carry on Harrison Jones on the tackle. He's been doing the kicking for the Falcons tonight too. I've also He's also a, a, a JV running back. He's I've seen, he's doing he, it all. He does. I, on Monday nights, we've hosted uh, several games here on Monday night. With, with our stadium having lights, we host a lot of the non-varsity games uh, on Monday night with JV and freshmen. North High has turf, but they don't have a stadium with lights. Same thing with West, doesn't have a stadium with lights. East doesn't have a stadium with lights. Uh, they got the turf fields, they just don't have a stadium with lights. Campbell with a blitz. Nate Campbell with another tackle. Uh, they got to call another flag, another offsides maybe. There's no way. Let's see what they call here. The illegal shift. Couldn't see exactly what my eyes are getting. All need some binoculars up here, Dakota. Illegal shift, yes. There, see, there you go. I was right. Yeah, but if you were to meet number ten, Nate Campbell, in the hallways he, of school, you wouldn't expect no, him to be. No, he's the quietest guy. He just flying around. He just puts his plays. head. I mean, he every time I see him, he's just walking like he's bored to death or something. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a not. I, I I don't really know him. Is he quiet he's, guy? Yeah. Just a quiet, quiet, reserved. I've got him in a few classes. But you know what? That's one of the coolest things about this game is that you can be the quietest guy, the most chill dude ever. But out there on the field, you get to do almost whatever you want. You're allowed to yeah. hit and, and tackle people and fly around and have fun. That's what's so cool about this game. Oh, wow. Ooh, big what a hit. hit. Number it looked to be number was that Nate, Nate Campbell, Campbell wrapped him up, but then I think number eight Isaiah Yehuda came in and finished him off. Whoa! Yeah, there's two flags on the play. I think one of them was probably a holding. We'll see here, but who? This is a uh, holding. Yeah, holding on number three. It's not Nate. Boom. It's not Nate. It's uh, 14. Number f 24. Number. Nate grabbed no, him 24. up. 24. 24. Michael Smith just lowered the wow. boom on him. Yeah, that was Michael Smith. I saw a four flash, and that was Michael Smith. And because we were looking at our kind of our replay here, we weren't. Uh, that was a, a holding on the north. Holding north on north offensive line. Yep. Number Sorry, we don't have a replay for you guys watching. Um, we're just watching our live feed, which is about a 15, 20 second delay. That's when we say, "Oh, we can watch the replay." It's we're actually watching the, what you guys see, but it's delayed for for you guys at home. But it's. Or it's a delayed for us. It's not yeah. delayed for them at home. What am I? I'm I don't even know what the heck I'm saying. <laughs> first, I know this for a fact. It's first and about 30. Uh, what do we got? Timeout. I don't know. Um, Coaches have yeah, questions. Are we quarter? No. Nope. Someone called the timeout. Third it's, quarter. It's good to see the uh, Heights student section getting a little lively and rowdy too. It's good to see some school spirit down there. All right, sorry. Now we got the first and ten markers down there for you. The hey the. We got some uh, cheering section going on with the student section. Why are we blowing whistles? Do we have a delay of game, false start? I'm going to say false start. Well, the, the student section got yep. rowdy all false of a sudden. False start. 
false start on the North High offense. Let's see, here's the call from the White Hat. It's false start? Yep. He's coming over here to talk to the official on this side. Now they're, now North is calling a timeout. I'm confused. I think maybe the officials are somewhat a little confused as well, but I think they got they got it right here. So they called timeout. I think they had a penalty. 20 to nothing here with uh, 134. I don't know if we can, can we get a, Jacob, can we get a shot down there at the student section? Maybe Freddie Falcon right now? There's a good shot of Freddie the Falcon right there. They were just hyped just a second ago. The, the student section is down there. What's the theme today? Um, Do we know? I'm not, I'm not sure. Huh? I don't know either. I don't see, I don't see a really a theme going <laughs> on down there. Huh? Frat? Frat. Like college theme. College, okay. college frat. All right. I haven't seen too many people dressed up yet, so. But Freddie the Falcons down there having some, having some fun. North back in shotgun here. We got first, it's still first down. I guess they've had both these penalties on first down. Oh, go for, go for a deep ball. And they got Caught. it. That was the biggest play of the game Colossal. for North High. 30 yard pass there to Wassel. Big shot for North uh, High there. I'm not sure who the defender was, but there was like nobody from Heights around. Just kind ran of right, him. Ran right by number 13. Who's 13 for Heights? Number 13, Ashmore Anderson. Yeah, ran right by Ashmore. I don't know if Ashmore had a different, or had a miscommunication there between him and the safety. But Ashmore is still playing here at corner, and he's like 10 yards off. I guess they're all off, so that's what they're playing, trying to keep everything in front of them. Good little move there on the ice over there by number 27, tackle, Anthony Jones. A tackle by number eight, Isaiah Yehuda on the play. Jones with a about a seven yard gain. He's really done a pretty good job here in the second half. Got a gain of nine, gain of four, gain of seven. And North High looking to score and they're in the red zone now. Maybe we just turn down the crowd just a little bit there so we can. Uh, they're having some fun though. Yeah, good to see. Good to see some high energy down there for sure. Oh, uh, jump up top. False start by the receiver up top. Saw it out of the corner of my eye. I believe that's number nine up there. Javier Zapata. Is it nine? Am I right? No. Four, seven. Can't tell. Hey, our crowd's getting into it. Listen to this. Crowd's having fun. Heights is up 20 to nothing. We're and about, that's, the end that's of gonna the third be. Quarter. Yeah, they didn't get it off. It's gonna be the end of the quarter. We'll go down to the other end of the field. And as we start the fourth quarter, Heights 20, Wichita North zero.
All right, there's a good, a good shot of the, the uh, Heights crowd right there. Let's go back to the game as we start the fourth quarter here. That, that chant was a go-to during the, our state championship run in basketball. Yeah, it was, that was a lot of fun to see you guys uh, down there on the courts for the uh, state championship game and see all you guys. I remember the, the shirtless Falcons were in the stands. You know, were you one of those guys? No, but your son Blaine was. Blaine was, was <laughs> yeah. Blaine came back from college here to I hang to out. Oh, what a sack. Number 10, Nate Campbell on the play. He's having quite, he's fired up. That's so cool. He's one of the team captains and one of the quietest guys. We were talking about that earlier, one of the quietest guys in the hallway. But he is having a blast out there on, uh, on the Friday Night Lights. But, uh, yeah, it was fun. We, you know, they got the crowd still kind of going on that chant with the uh, band and everything and the Falcons uh, during the state championship run. They had shirtless guys and they had the guys all painted with their different letter on their shirt for Falcons. That was a lot of fun. Put that picture in the yearbook, too. Oh, yeah. I had to put some sunglasses on looking at Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> he brings up third and 15 here for North High and going to be a false start. The receiver on this edge over here, that's Wassel. He backed up at the last second. I don't know. He just thought he had to be off the line of scrimmage and probably should have just stayed where he was at since it was going to be a, a screen, which is a, a ball thrown behind the line of scrimmage. to be a third and 21. I mean, North High has, the, to get a first down, they got to go all the way to the nine yard line. And what are we at, third? Third down. Going deep. Shot for none other than, oh, almost picked off by number seven for oh. the Heights Falcons, Jaden Okoro. Wassel was uh, the intended receiver there and DJ Fowler was throwing it up, a, a nice ball. Just had needed to get it a little bit to the outside, a little bit farther. I don't know if the wind was trying to blow it back inside. That's what happens a lot of the times. You got to throw it farther to the outside when the wind is coming from the from behind you. Yeah, no, no bash on North High, but this is one of the lower scoring matchups of the Falcons and the North High football team. But it's now fourth and 21. And they're going to go for it. Why not? Down 21-0. Yeah. Oh. Almost intercepted. Number seven, Jaden Okoro had another chance at that one. Well, I was just off the hands of uh, Jacob Wassel. And um, a decent drive for Northwest, North, not Northwest, yeah. North High. Looking forward to that game next week, man. Uh, West High um, uh, comes here on Thursday night. That game was originally scheduled for Friday night, but they changed it to Thursday night. When did you hear about the Southeast Stadium and how that all fell not. apart? So the the Southeast Stadium had a new turf in there about three or four years ago, and it uh, had some uh, construction issues, and so they shut it down and they had to move. Southeast had to play games someplace else. Oh, Kale, Kale Millison met in the backfield there. Yeah, lost, lost, lost two. two. And so with with that move, they had Southeast and Great Bend were supposed to play at Southeast Stadium, and Great Bend already had travel arrangements and everything. So oh, they basically just, since it's Heights and West, we're in town. We just put, we decided to play on Thursday night. We give up our field so they can come up here on, on a Friday night because uh, Great Bend was already traveling in. They got yeah. buses reserved and stuff like that. For those guys. Yeah, about two and a half hours or so from Great Bend, two I'm, hours from Great Bend. With, with how, pop, with how uh, popular football is in the Wichita area, I'm surprised not the, ma the majority of the schools around here don't have lights and turf, but that's an incompletion for DJ Dingle intended for number – can't see very well. Number is that number six? Hey, there's a good shot. Avante Let's get to that. Scales. Stay right there, Jacob. Stay right there, Jacob. There's a good shot right there. The Heights defense 
or the Heights yeah, Heights defense looking at the uh, plays. They have Huddle sideline down there, which you can see right there. That's they're watching the plays from the last couple of drives. All right, let's go back to the other play now. I bet that is a very so that that is really helpful that coaches can go there and coach during the game and make sure they're getting all the correct oh, checks and stuff like the that. Snap. Dingle off his back foot to Kale Millicent in the backfield. Breaks two tackles, three tackles, goes up the sideline, breaks another one for a gain of. Well, he's going to say he stepped out way back here oh, about 10 yards out, ago. So a gain of uh, 20, 5, 10, 15, about 18 yards. 18 yards. I always look back to see the yard marker. And where was that yard marker at? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I start, I just go, five, I start counting five or ten yards, and that's how I get, that's how I quickly do uh, figure out how far that run run was. But you got to make sure you look back really quick, otherwise they start moving. Like Mr. Close over there, he almost started moving a little early. Yeah, I got to go down there and tell him, hey, man, slow down. I can't count that fast. Number nine going off the field. I don't know what happened to Xavier uh, Zapata. He was back there at free safety, and all of a sudden they kind of blew the whistle to kind of stop the play to let him get off the field for whatever reason. Brings up first and 10 for the Falcons right at about the 45-yard line. Oh, another, another bad snap picked up by Dingle, and he just falls because he had nothing to do with that one. It, it's, it was just a hard snap. I don't, know, I don't might, know if he was ready for it. Might have been a little high, too, but it just seems like it's coming back there awful hard. You wanted just a nice little um, pass or a nice little snap. and uh, But the the ball just seems kind of fast back there. Now it's going to be second they and sub, 20. Su Dingle is subbed out. Is he really? For this play, yeah. So I'm not oh, sure what who happened? they're going to. Oh, he's, I think he's cramping. He's getting stretched out on the sideline. Might have caught a cramp so there. We got, is that it's Kale. Kale Millicent back yeah. back in the quarterback? Man, would it be cool to watch him throw? He ain't throwing. They're running the ball right here. Oh, he keeps it. Cuts up field. Makes a good move there. Up to about the about to the 45, and 40. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a little oh. shove match going here. Oh, no. Seemed to be are, someone on the sideline who got into it. Yeah, I, I want to say number six there, for Logan Braden. But I think that might be on North. Might be on North, yeah. Not sure. Let's see if we can uh, quickly look here. Yeah, it he was just somebody. Came somebody came after Lafayette, Washington. Uh, must have said something he didn't like. It was number uh, number six. Number six, Logan Braden is the one who went after Lafayette on the sideline for whatever reason. Man, if I was him, I wouldn't want to go after anyone but on the height sideline. Did they call it against us, though? I, if they did, that's not a very great call because I, that was clearly, that was clearly a and North High player initiating unless, that. Unless, unless we saw. Uh, oh, there's a Blaine's flag. telling us there's a flag also. Back at the 35. So we so might have some offset penalties Might have some here. offsetting penalties, so that's why. Uh, yeah, that's the reason why. I mean, it wasn't a bad call by the officials, but it was offsetting penalties. There was a penalty down here on north and then a holding or something back here on height. So that's why it went back, which we thought it was. Yeah. Millison back to take the snap. Gives to Lafayette, Washington. He was trying to get some revenge after he got sh shoved. And, oh, makes a great move. A flag on the play, though. He gets pushed out at about the 45 and took out a cameraman on his way out of bounds. <laughs> but there's another flag on the play. Yeah, back at the 45-yard line. Good good reversal by, by uh, Washington. Just didn't have anything. The next thing you know, he gets kind of swung around. And then he goes over there and almost runs. He does run into a cameraman as he's falling down. She gets out of the way, or he gets out of the way just in time. Hopefully, well, there's another flag. Hopefully Did the camera's I see okay. Holding, holding on the offense. All so the way bring back that here. Back. Yeah. Just another costly penalty for the Heights for the Heights offense. But it seems to be. Uh, DJ Dingle's still on the ground getting stretched and checked out by the trainer. Does, does it look like he's cramping or does it look like he's hurt? Can you, have you been looking down I, there? I've been seeing he might. I think he's cramping up. Or he, or he's, it's hard to tell from up here, but not a good sign for the Heights offense. But Millicent's doing a pretty decent job back there at quarterback. 
He plays. I just think I, I think he's doing a great job. The only thing that yeah. you, you know maybe disadvantage for uh, Millicent back there. Can he throw? Goes oh, he's to throw. going to. He goes to throw. He's oh, just and take he a picks run. it up for about a about a ten yard ten gain. Yard gain. 10-yard gain, so now they're back to third and 10. You know, Millicent played played some baseball, too, He's this spring. He's a catcher? Yeah, he caught for the JV team. He can swing it a little bit, too, but I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to throw it here, too. Well, going to have to do something here. Third and 10, maybe a screen. Maybe he might, uh, might, might drop back and throw a pass here. I'd like to see him throw a bomb over the top of the safeties here. <laughs> Well, let's see. They put Wassel to the uh, the safeties for the uh, for North. They're putting Wassel, their best safety, to the trip side. So they kind of have a one-on-one -on -one backside here because the safety is also going up. But they're just going to let give, give it, it to it. Washington. He finds a seam. Picking up the first down. First yes, down he does. And then saw about a 12, 13-yard gain. Yeah. Good little run there. Good read there by Millicent playing at quarterback. He's gassed, man. He looks so tired. Hand on hips. He's going to sleep in hey, tomorrow. Hey, DJ's up, running around a little bit good now. To see, good to see Coach Dingle up. I mean, <laughs> not Coach Dingle. DJ uh, Dingle, and he looks uh, to he's, he's, he's going, going, going back, back in. in. Yeah. Got the band down there leading the cheers. We're going to keep the action on the field, but... Uh, you can hear the band leading. The, there's several band members. Now, let's can we get a shot down at the band down there on the on that's the a, uh, side? That's a chant that they led all basketball season too. There's a good look at them right there. The band is. That, some of the band members are down there, dancing and ch leading the cheer. That chant filled up X Stadium during this. Now we got a good shot right here, the huddle right there. That's uh, Jared At in the mix of all that. The tall guy with the beard, that's Coach Jared At. Coach Ogles right there is turned around kind of facing the crowd. He must be enjoying it. Coach Depper Schmidt right there in the middle. Our trainer, Nate, is in the mix there. So that was all of our, give him a shout out to all of our coaches. Coach Jared At, man, he's a big guy. <laughs> I think he played some football at the University KU. of KU. Yeah, he did. Also assistant coaches, um, Markavius Lewis, Todd Sock Whitney. Oh, we must have cut out the other guys. Oh well. It's I heard that we, we picked up a defensive line coach who actually oh, he, played for the Buffalo Bills. Big guy. He's way yeah. Big guy. I think he might be in the box. Hand off to Millicent. No Not at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Maybe a loss of one. Good job there by number 57 for North High. That is Steven Ramirez. Steven Ramirez on the tackle. Brings up second and 12. About 6.15 remaining. North, what's North got next week? Let me see if I, where's my schedule? I got my schedule in here somewhere. North's got uh, Wichita South next week. There's stretch right there for Millicent. Millicent cuts it up. And going to be another, another flag. flag. I'll say that's flag on number 51 of the Heights offense. Holding. Have some Some of the people in the Heights side had some opinions on that flag. Hopefully we didn't hear that. I kind of heard it. I, I heard it loud and clear. <laughs> yeah, it's down in front. We have actually, we have a microphone that we use for the crowd noise. This right here. But it's on top of the press box. And man, it picks up. And it does. It, yeah, it does pick up stuff. If I turn it up, I mean, it's turned up right there. At so. the beginning of the game, you could hear conversations happening oh, yeah. on the field. Yeah. And yeah. So I try not to keep it up too loud so that uh, you guys don't get distracted on the crowd noise. We've got some passionate Whoever's fans, too, so who knows what they The might receiver say. up top needs to get set. All right, finally got set. Oh. DJ's, DJ's going to scramble. It, takes off. Finds a seam. And Runs another of, penalty. Oh, my gosh. He was pushed out about the 28, but holding on the Heights offense. Dingle is not happy. I don't know who was holding. Oh, he just threw him to the ground. 
That was a pancake. That's not a. No, he he like had his jersey. Uh, it was the left tackle, obviously. I believe. It was left tackle, left guard. One of the guys on the left hand side of the line when, literally threw his guy on the ground. When you've got DJ 15 yards upfield, there's no reason to, no to do re that because yep. that big boy ain't catching up with him. No. Now, if you're drive, you you have to. The difference is you can't throw them down the ground. But if, but if you drive somebody to the ground, that's a different. That's a pancake when you're driving somebody in the ground. But when you just take their jersey and throw them off to the side, which what we saw. Yeah, oh, look at this, like a quad formation. Oh, what is? They're gonna throw it back to Millicent. Millicent's gonna throw it. Let's see what happens here out of this uh, weird formation here. That's what yep, they're gonna do. Pass to Millicent. Double pass. He drops to throw. Let's throw it fly back to DJ, to DJ Dingle. Who makes the catch? And he oh, drops, he drops it. it. Oh man! I knew something was up with that, that <laughs> formation, and they threw it back to Dingle. They had a receiver waste going down the, the uh, field. I believe that was uh, Jakuro. And Dingle peels out and goes back the other way, and the ball just kind of hung up a little bit. I don't know if the North High guy right there, number 32, was right there in the mix. I think that's why DJ that was Jaden. Yeah, Jaden Fountain. There. <laughs> <laughs> he had the, he was open. Millicent looked pretty good on the throw. Oh, maybe, no. maybe just a little short, but brings up a long third and thirty. Let's see if we can get a big throw or a good run to com to convert here. I go with a throw. Got Millicent in motion. The snap to Dingle. Okay. Has some time in the pocket. It's got to roll out. He throws it for Yehuda, who makes the catch with a great move up to about the 15-yard line. That was any, a big-time third flags? down conversion. No flags. No flags Good on the play. Good job, boys. That was a big conversion pass to Isaiah Yehuda for... Um, probably about the four from the forty-yard line or so. So a thirty-yard gain there. Good pass by DJ. Tackle by number fifteen was Jaden Garns. Good improvisation to roll out and throw on the run there. Yeah, he looked good throwing on the run right there. Yeah. Going to be first and ten at about the sixteen-yard line. And oh, another no. fumbled snap, and he's going to make sure he doesn't get hurt. That. Yeah. On that one, you ought to just fall to the ground. Yeah. When you have four defenders coming yeah. after you. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna bring up third down, and about 16. Is this third down, second, second down, second down. Sorry, my fault. Second down. Second and 16. There you go. Clock is a run, and we just need this clock to run, doubles man. Doubles on both sides. Millicent and Dingle in the backfield. Millicent in motion. We've, I'd assume this is a pass with how they set this up. Good call. Coach Dingle's got to roll out. You call DJ him Coach Dingle, Dingle again. I keep. <laughs> I've got Coach Dingle for weights. So yeah, I'm so yeah. Used to saying, yeah. Coach Dingle, Coach Dingle. That is DJ, his son, at quarterback, rolling out with an incompletion there. Hey, he did a good job right there, just getting out of the mix. There was uh, some good pressure there by the end, by number 32 for North High, Jaden Fountain. And uh, DJ just made a nice little spin move right there. Or actually, it was number 80, my fault. Number 80, Mateo Clark had uh, the uh, had the angle on him. but uh, pass, That pass was intended for number six, Avante Scales, just a little bit high and behind him on that throw. Got doubles, doubles wide again. Third and 15. Third and 16, one of the two. Another pass. Going with oh, the screen. Man. DJ was hit right as he threw, but they had Millicent wide open on that little he's gotta half back just, screen. Uh, he's, they've got to work on that a little bit when there's somebody in his face and he needs to do a little Patrick Mahomes, you know, around the side, oh. just a little floater over the top or something. You yeah. see Matt Patrick Mahomes doing all that shortstop stuff, throwing from oh, yeah. that, down underneath and stuff like that. He, uh, was, he was quite the ball player in high school, too. Oh, yeah. DJ run. DJ doesn't play shortstop. He's a tr he's a track guy. He's a hurdle guy in yeah. the spring season, and uh, maybe maybe we need uh, Blaine to show him some shortstop moves down there <laughs> and throw a sidearm and stuff like that. Yeah, need We've to practice that stuff. Same formation, doubles wide again. 
Fourth down. Same thing. I bet they're going to go for the pass. DJ steps up, takes off with it. Good oh, move there. Another flag. Block in the back. Taken down at about the Let's five see. yard line. What's, where are they going to mark it down? I bet that was number, who's there rocking around? 77. That might have been a penalty on him because he's staying back there. He knows. He knows he did something. I thought there was a big block in the back coming from, uh, like, hit, hitting the blind side guy. Watch right back up here. Watch this right here. See, yeah, that's a blind, blind side, side block, block right there on number six. Who's six? Uh, Javante Scales. Yeah. Good, good. I mean, good idea to get your quarterback a little extra room, but you got to just be careful where you hit that guy from. If they gave him the first down, if he got past the, the down marker, they're going to have to redo the play. But if not, North High could really um, decline that penalty and take the first, take get the ball right there. So I'm not sure what they're gonna do. They're gonna move it back. I guess maybe he did get the first down. That's exactly what had had to have happened. Fourth and fourth and 14. See if we can convert here. Going with the pass up to Yehuda. Oh man, batted away. Try to go with the back shoulder throw over there. A little and high. Yehuda can get up there, but it was just a little too far. Looks like Heights is still going to stick with their number one defense here. Excuse me, that wasn't uh, Yehuda on that pass. That was number 14, Kamar Alexander, senior wide Kamar. receiver for the Falcons. He's a, he's a personality. <laughs> He is. He's. A, he's. He's not like uh, Nate Campbell. Yeah, he's the exact opposite. Yes. He's everybody's friend. Yes. Fun guy. To, fun guy to be around. So twenty to nothing here. We got three twenty-seven remaining. We just want uh, North High to maybe run the ball a couple times here. Get this clock rolling. Yeah. I want to see another Falcon touchdown. That's you know, I, sure. I really think that there was a lot of people thought that you know we'd have a running clock in this game. We were really going to blow them out. And yeah. I, you know, North it's High good. really. They hung in there. They played well. They had some good defensive stops. Haven't done a lot on the offensive side, but really defense. Their defense is not bad, and uh, yeah, made some made some pretty good stops right there to uh, really twenty to nothing. Yeah, one probably the, victory for one the Falcons. Of the lowest scoring for matchup here, and I mean, well, Falcons you look at might have had three or four more touchdowns, but just yeah. Well, costly penalties. So North for the Falcon offense. I mean, North lost 24 to seven against Southeast, and then they just get blown out by Garden City, 77 to six. And uh, and Heights got blown out last week by Northwest, like yeah. 52 to six. But man, North, oh, they're gonna take the take the. Uh, Northwest always has that powerhouse kind of team, powerhouse offense. Typically a pretty good defense, but they're a ground and pound kind of team. Third and one here. Nice uh, nice gain there. Coming up a little gimpy. That's 27. That's been their leading rusher right there, DeAnthony Jones. And he goes hobbling off of the side. Not good for the uh, for North High. The Heights students getting back into it here. Now I see a couple guys maybe with dressed up like frat guys, I guess. I don't yeah. know. The white hats turn only backwards. They're only freshmen oh, in false, start. false start. False start. Or are they going to say offense. the defense? Nope, false start. Oh, man, you never like to see this, but the left tackle, number 77, Manny Martinez, with the false start, he gets his name called. Offensive linemen don't get the, their name called very often. When that and is, he gets it called right there. not good. And we get the fall. There's the false start there. Just we just now saw the false start on our uh, on our replay. Third and seven. Let that clock. Let's get that clock rolling. You know, I just noticed now that North High doesn't have any logos on the side of their helmet. They used to have like the N uh, for North, and then kind I of a feather looks, for I think the Indian. They had the issues with the, the mascot. Skins, yeah. mascot. They might yeah. have to take that off. Yep. Yeah. Been seeing a lot of that with the uh, now Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland Guardians, yep. Team. Used to be called, yep, the Indians. And then the uh, Washington Redskins were the Washington football team for a while. And then the now they're the Washington Guardians, right? Is it? No. Commanders. Commanders, that's right. Commanders, not football team. You know, I'm surprised the Chiefs. I guess 
I don't know. They're they're gonna that is Chief a respectful name instead of a derogatory name like the like what they used to call North High? It, it might, I don't know. It might be. Maybe that's why they're not they're not changing it. But uh, or the Indian? I thought you know the Cleveland Indians. I I didn't think that was. I didn't either. Cause that's 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 what they're called. And what are they going to go fourth and delay a game? So they had fourth and six or so, and they ran out of time right there. I mean, we do want the clock to run. We got 2:03 remaining here. I don't know if the if the Falcons do get the ball back, I bet. Just we'll take a knee. Take a knee or yeah. do a few just runs up the middle, chew that. Unless clock. they're going to try to get some JV guys in there. Yeah. On I a Friday that, night. That might be the move here, depending on how much time we've got left. North High is going for. Oh, they're going to punt. Punt on fourth and uh, eleven. Takes a heights bounce, down by number one Wassel. They're gonna, let's see, Heights is gonna get the ball back here at about the 46 yard line. We better just run it a couple times. I still see Millicent starters out, Millicent's out Dingle. there. Is Dingle out there too? Yeah, they're bringing out our starting, our starting guys. Might, might as well, I mean, it's not like 50 to nothing, it's 20 to nothing, but let's run the ball and let's get this thing going or maybe just they're gonna take a knee. I don't, can we take, how do we take a knee in shotgun? Uh, I mean. You just shotgun and did you, do you get counted off on your stats? You might actually get counted off for about two yards there. Well, because really that's about a four-yard loss right there. If he would go down on a they're knee. Gonna go with, yep, they're going to go with the handoff to Millicent. Just He's stay, just get take care of Millicent. I don't want to see him go down here with a minute and 44 seconds, and we definitely I'm got this one. I'm surprised Dingle and Millicent are still in the game, yeah. even our receivers. Yeah, well, one of the linemen just kind of came up kind of he might have got hit in the, in the gut there, number 60. Who's big number 60 for us? Uh, big number 60 is, we're getting our papers figured out here, Alonzo Cabral. I think he's center, isn't he? Yeah. Another handoff to Millicent. Cuts up the middle. Good gain. First, uh, hard to see from my angle, but. I they think he's going to get the first yeah, down. Yeah, got him for a first down, so that's a – Roll that clock. No measurement. Let's go. There you go. Yeah. If they're to measure, that's just – Yeah. Either call it fourth down or whatever, and then probably enough for one more play here as Heights is going to get out of this uh, with a victory 20 to nothing. Yeah. A win's a win for the Falcons, but this they is the it. Lower, They needed it. They needed it. Yeah some momentum going into that big game on Thursday. It's going to be a big game on for, for don't run out of bounds, DJ. That stops the clock. Got to keep that clock rolling. We got the, I believe that we have one cheer. Yeah, this game's pretty much on ice. 20 points in 35 seconds is impossible. <laughs> Cheerleaders and dancers are, are and cheerleaders and pommies are getting down there having a lot of fun together. Give to Millicent. He cuts is up. Is he gonna field. get is he gonna get over two hundred? Uh -huh. What do you think? They might have to give it to him one more time. What do you think he's got right now? Let's look. Twenty seconds remaining. Going to be about third and five here for the Falcons. Looks like they're going to go victory, so you can he add needs, those up. He needs another. Uh, and they're not. So what did he finish six, with? 174 yards. You, you had 174 yards for Millicent. Pretty yeah. good finish right there. And I don't think they even have to run out of play. And that is going to be the final here tonight. Heights 20, Wichita North 0. First win for the Falcons of the fall of 2022 season. They face here be here at Heights next Thursday night against West High. Check that out on Cox 22. We will not be live streaming it here on our YouTube channel. We'll be back the following week for the live stream game of South High and Homecoming. But next week, we're going to let the Cox 22, the professionals do it. We'll be back in a couple weeks.
Dakota, thanks, man. Yeah, it's a pleasure being up here. Yes, sir. All right, Jacob, thank you. Derek, appreciate it. Blaine, Ethan already took off. We had somebody else leave. Uh, one of the other guys left early as well. And uh, we've got the handshakes going out there for the uh, game. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Check you guys uh, back next time.